Hey guys, it's Samson, and I know I, uh, I don't usually post as much or as recent as I usually do, or at least as I have in the past, but the main reason for that is I did just upload the biggest project in the channel's history, and I'm sort of just letting that, you know, just push out and let uh, that just get attention for a while before I start talking about other projects, but for this occasion, I'm going to break that rule. Because, uh, I, not recent, not recently, but as of literally a bit ago, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake just came out. Now, I know I didn't do a playthrough of the other two remakes, mainly because, one, uh, by the time I was thinking about doing a, vid uh, like, a whole series on Resident Evil 2 Remake, it's already been done, and not gonna lie, uh, I don't think anyone would really care to see my footage of the game. And I didn't post anything for a Resident Evil 3 remake because it's Resident Evil 3 remake. Like, sure, it can be a solid piece at times, but I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like they really missed the mark on that one. This one, on the other hand, I have personal history with Resident Evil 4 original. Now, as any other kid growing up in the 2000s, I went over to friends' houses to play games. And I went to a couple friends' houses, I'm not going to say their names or anything about them, just besides the fact that I went to their houses and stuff, uh, such as a kid to go play games on their Xbox. And that was one of them. And of course, this son of a gun waited specifically, or at least like, you know how you take turns and whatnot between deaths? He waited specifically just so I can get to that part. If you know anything about the game, you know there's one specific part that all of us kids in the 2000s like fucking hated and it was that part now given that i was surprised one that the game had already released like i, I swear to god like uh it wasn't even like last week uh, right it was like was it last week anyways it was like very recent they uploaded the demo for like worldwide uh worldwide i should say and i was pretty surprised to see that demo come across like my for you page i was like oh wow I guess it's already time to start getting hyped and stuff. And it felt like just like the next day it gets released. You want to know how I knew? Of course, take a guess at what the first fucking thumbnail came across my uh, screen was. Now granted, it wasn't any spoilers to be fair. I already knew uh, like the original game a long time ago. I haven't played it recently, but I know how it ends, right? They literally ride off into the fucking sunset. But guess the first thing that came across my for you page when i woke up like 12 in the morning right on like a weekend it was that part that specific part and i was horrified to see they made it even worse not worse as in like oh look this sucks i mean like worse as in i'm even more terrified of it now yeah so because i not only have personal history with this game and because it just came out I'm gonna get it now as of me uploading this I'm gonna be out of town for a family thing you know uh, <laughs> of course I still have other stuff to do outside of YouTube and like I like I have said in previous not just previous almost all the videos where I talk this isn't my main job I do do other stuff outside of YouTube because I like to have stability now I do not get me any do not get to get this wrong I'm still gonna do the Far Cry 5 playthrough because well, I'm very happy that they made the game have a PS5 upgrade, and I just played it uh, a bit just a while ago, so I can uh, see everything, record it, see how it looks recorded and stuff on the Share Factory, and you know what, it looks great, it looks even better, honestly. And, you know what, I'm going to put that on the channel, and also because that series, the Far Cry 5 series, got so fucked up on the channel because I didn't realize that uh, game companies in 2018 were like, what if YouTubers or streamers play this game, right? Because, believe it or not, the radio music that's not the cult music is 110% copyrighted, despite the fact that those songs sound straight out of 1930. Who the fuck knows who the hell is owning the rights to that shit, but they got me, right? They nicked me. So, I'm gonna try and play this game again, and this time try to play with the music off, and I just, and here's the funny thing about that though, let me, let me deviate. Here's the funny thing about that. When I said I played the game just again so I can see the 60 FPS update and whatnot and the increased fidelity of like fidelity and all that shit, I, w I was like, you know what, Here, let me try listening to this game and playing it without the music because that's what I'm going to have to do to record it for you guys. So I did, I went to the settings, I turned off music, and you know what it did? It turned off the video game score. It didn't turn off the music. 
what like why the fuck do you have like titled music then how about you have two separate things or like turn off the the game's score or like the game soundtrack or turn off the game's music because i was playing the game and like in all the sections like uh, uh it's one of those games where like the second you pull like the trigger like combat music starts like in-game copyright free combat music starts right and so i was doing that and i was like i'm playing the game i was listening to like all the gunfire and stuff i was like oh wow this sounds like pretty good i like the visuals it looks uh, very crisp now <sighs> and as soon as i got into a car and then i heard cult music and i was like okay i guess because the cult music isn't copyrighted it can play so i switched the radio to go see if the normal music was on and of course it was and which is so so stupid why the fuck is like the music music on right which means that if i really want to be dedicated to this no cars right as soon as I, as soon as you were to see me get into a car my playthrough instant cut to where the, to where i arrive you know what fine i'll do that but you know something even worse uh in my original playthrough way way back in the channel in like 2017 or something i think i uploaded no that game came out in 2018 I think I uploaded like my first ever playthrough of this channel in like early to mid 2020. Like way back then when I was like just learning editing and whatnot and I was like having fun with it and stuff. And I separated all of this into like bits and then like uh, you could like uh, entire sections of the playthrough dedicated to certain like parts and like chapters of the game. Specifically the Jacob C chapter fucked me the hardest. You see I could deal with like uh, deleting a couple of videos off of like uh, uh, off of like the other segments and whatnot from like Faith or uh, John sections where there's copyrighted music but the fact that Jacob has like a whole gameplay mechanic and segment and cutscene and all this around one copyrighted song fucked me hard and so I had to get rid of all of that and you know that sucks so I'm gonna go through play through the whole game again and uh, eventually just for that part I'm gonna have to play with music off as you know and hopefully trying to find an alternative that, you know, I, I guess I'm going to have to try and work through this one to try and fit the theme or the message or whatever the fuck the point of that song was. Uh, which sucks because, you know, I don't like the mess of the game soundtracks too much. Uh, apart from, like, uh, if I think something sounds better, I'll just put it in them because I think it sounds better. But that sucks, dude, because I honestly think that uh, song fits well with, the, uh, with Jacob's section specifically. And, like, how, like eerie and how unironically creepy it sounds out of its context or at least out of the context it's generally supposed to be in so i'm gonna have to find something like that to replace it if i can uh otherwise i'm yes i am gonna work on that one and but before that i will do this one first and here's a quick uh here's something to deviate completely from that and something to do with another staple of the channel and that is the uh, the cinematics. I keep forgetting the word cinematics, right? The GTA cinematics. Now, as none of you know, mine is like two of you that like stayed around for or at least not stayed around, but have been here since like the beginning. Beginning, you know that the first video to really pop off on the channel was a random Fourth of July special, right? And so I was very surprised by that, and eventually I started to realize that those projects started to get more and more attention. And I am very disappointed to say that the newest upload on the channel flopped hard. And I know that over time it'll accumulate views. Like, you know, like, fuck, like, uh, what was it? Like, last, yeah, last month, last month, some random video from like 2020. Uh, I think it was the original playthrough. Yeah, it was the original playthrough of Modern Warfare 2019. Some random ass middle of the gameplay playthrough episode got like a thousand views who the hell knows where those guys came from but they popped off that one thing and you know i guess if i wait long enough this project will release the one that i just made uh just came on the channel i guess i want to pop off over time but you know given how youtube video was work after a certain point like the views it has now is the views it's going to stay as and it's not going to get recommended anymore right so although that really sucks that this project i worked on for about a month and a half now believe me there was a lot of reshoots and a lot of rewrites and uh a ton of times just waiting so i can get stuff perfectly right uh that sucks all that was feels like for nothing because you know it's 
like 20 like eight views right now not doing good at all and let's face it it's not going to do any better so although that sucks i am going to finish out that series specifically because i did straight up just tease the third movie at the end of this one so might as well right you know e even if like nobody sees it it's, it's going to be good on my conscience that the whole series as a whole ends right and yes there's only three films i uh i planned that uh, uh actually yeah i planned only three films in the remake uh on the original it really was just a one-off right and as for the other stuff i still have the other ones planned uh way back way way back on an earlier earlier video of like last year yeah i promised several films and i got most of them i got uh what is it uh, american patriot 2 i got the lines we blur i had another one i don't remember what it was uh the classy i got that one and the one last one is a remake of the uh is, is it horror no i didn't design it to be horror but this time it's gonna be horror well, this time when i remake it right and if you are wondering why I'm remaking a lot of my old cinematics, it's because I recorded those old cinematics on PS4 when it uploaded to like 720p. Now, to be granted, my 1080p right now isn't that that good, but it's better, way better than my fuck ass 720p. Which, you know, it looked good, like going through like the Rockstar editor and like editing the cutscenes. But like when it came to the editing part and finally the watching it afterwards, it looked so degraded, so bad. And that just sucked. So that's why I'm remaking a lot of these. Mostly just to update them. And also because I've gotten better at trying to storytell with only me as all the characters. And only me doing all the, all the uh, scenery and whatnot. And all the scenes. The, the dialogue and whatnot. So as I'm getting better trying to one man army. Like trying to one man army this shit. I'm going to try and remake the grand majority of my old content. Uh, specifically that one as well because that was the first one that was very dialogue oriented uh, I remember and I kind of like that so I'm gonna try and do that again uh, for this one except add more elements of horror into it because the original one was meant to be horror but when I got through it and I had to rework some stuff again I was like you know what there's a lot of not horror in here so I might as well just turn it into more of a thriller so that's what it is so I'm going to remake that one to be a little bit more horror because it is based off of Creepypasta. Well, it, yeah, actually, if, fun fact, uh, that one was because I, I was originally going to do a Halloween special for uh, something. I'm, I don't remember what, but then I eventually realized, hey, this looks like the one image of the Creepypasta face that really terrified me. So I might as well just do that as a Halloween thing instead. Of course, I didn't release it on Halloween because it took me too long to do it uh, to finish it out. Which, funny enough, you know, these things you don't really think would take too long, but goodness me, dude. Like, working with games rather than working with, like, actual, like, film cameras is a lot more frustrating than it sounds. Especially if the game is, has, like, Rockstar Editor slapped onto it rather than, being, rather than it being, like, more of a feature. You know, it's not something that always especially peeved me about uh, Next Gen. When they said Expanded and Enhanced, in which they dropped that, believe it or not, uh, if you didn't hear about that, they dropped that. Uh, that title is, is it is just GTA 5 PS5 now uh, when they said expanded and enhanced I had plenty of things flung through my mind and one of them was like you know they still do really like uh, the community making cinematics on their platform and stuff so I, I wonder if they're gonna update it now right because you know it, it's it's PS5 it's Xbox Series X is like the new stuff the strongest hardware uh, hardware as of now right and so I'm thinking they're gonna update the recording bubble they're gonna make uh, the they're gonna add more sound effects, add more filters. They're gonna add like uh, perhaps even an update the uh, director mode where you can input NPCs instead of just props to make a scene, uh, and perhaps even have you be able to direct them to do certain stuff and whatnot. They didn't. They didn't do any of that shit. The bare minimum they did, believe it or not, the only fucking thing they did was to add this one little button that says uh, copy and paste. With the with the, like your X button, and you know what it's for? Uh, filters. That's literally it. That is the one thing they did, and I was so so let down by that. But you know what? I still got plenty of projects out from it, so I guess I can still be happy about that. And uh, that's really it. And also, if you do notice that whenever in a, in online these uh, uh character not the character driven these story segments like usually drive out 
or they pop out out of nowhere because that's how Rockstar does their updates. Uh, I usually do videos about them, like how uh, when, uh, what's it called, the Dr. Dre update with uh, when Franklin came back. I did a whole uh, small little playthrough segment of that through the form of cinematics, which uh, not only that I think was just more fun, but also because I kind of like the story of it, so I wanted to, uh, so I wanted to do it. Now, for the new one that just came out, the first and last dose uh, parts, I'm not doing that one, unfortunately, because one, there's not enough creativity with them. You could argue about the Dr. Dre contract and about uh, this and that and a bunch of uh, how they reused this and beated that. I don't care. Uh, the Dr. Dre contract update has a very interesting story segment, I would argue. And it has very interesting gameplay segments. I mean, it honestly feels like a bit of a small uh, action movie trying to, I don't know, like literally, actually, yeah, that is a good way to put it. A small little LA action movie about Dr. Dre, right? Think of anything more Los Angeles, right? So I kind of like that. It was very fitting. This one, however, I'm, I'm going to deviate once again here because I want to say something. If you remember, the first video to pop off the hardest on the channel, not the first video to pop off, the first video to pop off the hardest on the channel was me talking about Steven Ogg and about his, about him basically complaining to the GTA fandom and basically, I wouldn't, actually, I think the better word is to just say pissed off at the GTA fandom uh, for uh, like constantly associating him with Trevor. So I guess either Rockstar didn't pick up on that because I'm really, realistically they really don't pay attention to their actors after they're done with them. Uh, no matter how loyal the actors are to them, that's just the hard truth. And that's hell, even if it's not the hard truth, that is how it's very heavily presented. Regardless, I guess they just weren't paying attention or whatnot because something tells me that in the middle of not in the middle. I think that uh, keep in mind if you don't know this. Uh, I feel like a lot of you should know this by now, but GTA Online is not the entirety of Rockstar. The entirety of Rockstar works on other projects. GTA Online and GTA 5 as a whole right now is being held up by a small team of developers. That's why these updates that you'd think would come out faster and with more stuff really doesn't. Because it's not a huge segment of like workers and executives working on this. It's like a couple guys. Uh, as executives and like um, basically uh, just like one or two offices of like like uh, I keep forgetting the fucking word even though I keep saying it just just let's face it not a lot of people are working on online right now despite the fact that it's had a lot done to it see that's the thing is that I guess that after the Dr. Dre update that that small little team was like all right we brought back Franklin let's try and bring back Trevor and so I guess that uh, when they were doing that, they might have come in contact with Steven Ogg before that video came out and, and uh, was like, hey, I uh, want to come back and do Trevor. And it was like, fuck no. And they just hung up the phone. And so they were like, well, I guess we fucked ourselves because we made all this, uh, uh, all these like commissions and whatnot. So that's when they probably scrambled and uh, very quickly and like came up with these characters and immediately had to hire new actors and immediately had to do all these like reworks and whatnots to the uh, missions probably had to scrap a lot of missions as well and probably uh, make all of them as like a just an amalgamation of something and uh, bring back a couple of characters that for not, not characters a couple of actors that of course are like very likely gonna say yes like i don't see why ron's actor would really say no to just come back for like a tent like a like two to three minute segment right but uh, you know, it sucks that uh, Steven Ogg couldn't come back, and it sucks that he feels this way about the GTA fandom, but it is how it is, and so that's probably why the dose, uh, dose segments were segmented into the first part now, and then the later part later. Let me tell you what I theorize. I theorize that when they were scrambling initially to try and make the first dose missions, they had to do all this and all this and slap all that together, and then that's when they released it now, right? And then they're like, fuck me, we still have like, we still have to live up to something. So they, that's when they began to uh, try and finish it out with what they know now. Like, okay, let's work on these characters that we have now for like this one thing that we know for a fact we're never going to bring back. So that's when they made the last of those missions. And because there was already meant to be a reference to Trevor, because let me tell you, he was 100% considered to come back for this one, without a doubt. But once again, like I'm stating again and again, Stephen Hawk for sure said no. 
So that's when they were like, okay, you know what? Let us just make references to the character, and then that's it. So that's when the last of those missions came out, and that's why the whole of this update just feels so off. And that's because the developers, and once again, the small team of developers, was thrown off hard when they were planning for this actor to come back, and he just rejected it. Flat out. So, I'm not going to be too harsh on the, on the developers here. Uh, one, because of the developers, they're not executives. Let me tell you, let me tell you actually something. Uh, I feel like the, like the executives don't ever tell the developers anything, right? The developers have to work on this, like, blind, essentially, always. And the executives are the ones holding the reins and saying, you do this, you do that, you do this, and then, oh shit, this happened, so you gotta do this now, right? That's what's telling me what's happening behind the scenes. Of course, this is why mismanagement always comes out to this shit, as always. But, Rocks is a billion dollar company. Let's be honest, they kind of don't care about us the same way they used to. Um, which is very disheartening. And honestly, it does, even though I am very excited to see GTA 6, I am very worried about how it's going to turn out. Because, I'm once again, here, this is just, this is, I'm just going to title this video the deviation video, right? I'm going to deviate from, the, from this again and tell you this. I am very, very excited and worried about GTA 6 because it is, this is a franchise I've known for ever since I was a kid, right? I have uh, played the older games and of course I've played the one that's been out now for like years, right? And you have and you notice that uh, over time it seemed like a lot of people were leaving, like a lot of big people were leaving Rockstar, which of course for any company is normal. I mean, like the same people that made Doom don't uh, no longer work at id Software, right? They're off doing their own thing or they're retired. Because that's just how companies work. They live beyond the creator, right? They just go on and on. The problem is, is that those big people that left now are leaving during the development of GTA 6. None of those people really left during the development of Red Dead Redemption 2, of GTA 5, of GTA 4. They left during the development of GTA 6. So that leads me to wonder, how many developers right now are scrambling to work on this right now? How many writers are scrambling to try and fix up what's left behind? How many scenery directors and art directors and uh, uh, art, uh, what's it called? acting coaches and actors are like fumbled right now trying to work this out? So I am very curious to see how this is going to turn out. I still have my hopes high because at the end of the day, the online segments Rockstar can really fucking slack off at. But the single player segments is what they do good at, right? But it is very concerning that they... I, I don't think this is I don't think this is a hearsay. I think this was straight up just said by someone that uh, on the Rockstar team that they might have to uh, release the game and then release other parts of the game as DLC. Now, granted, they haven't done DLC in a long time, right? Single player DLC in a long time. They did an online DLC, of course, right? Because you know you gotta keep that monetary segment going, a monetary game going, so you can continue to make games and whatnot, and updates and whatnot, right? For single player, they haven't made DLCs in a long time. You ever, hell, does anyone remember this? That they promised to make DLCs for a GTA 5? They were planning to go through with that, but they gave up. They gave up on that almost immediately as soon as the GTA Online took off. That's why we never got to see any more Michael, Trevor, and Franklin until now when they're being uh, worked into online. So, something's telling me that I don't think they're going to hold up on the DLC for GTA 6 either. Something tells me this is going to be more of a shallow promise for a single player DLC for GTA 6, right? Because, hell, you know something strange? Uh, they didn't even keep a DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2. G Red Dead Redemption 1 has had one of the most iconic DLCs of all time, uh, Red Dead Nightmare. So, you'd think for the sequel of one of the most popular franchises, uh, they would also have a DLC for that as well. They don't. So I'm, like I said, I am very, very curious to see how they're going to continue this franchise. And let me say, everyone is, everyone online is right right now. GTA 6 is going to be the biggest game of all time. It's going to rival the likes of Half-Life 2, right? It's going to go beyond and uh, like above and beyond Portal 2. It's going to go above and beyond like everything we've seen right now, right? Or it's gonna flop fucking hard. It's gonna flop so hard, right? One or the other. There's gonna be no middle ground for this game. This, it's been too long. The hype's built up too high. 
is going to be the biggest win or the or the company is going to go under after this let's face it right so once again i'd say keep your hopes realistic keep your hopes dead center on facts and logic for this one right and if they and if they if that game does come out and it does blow everyone away hell i'm gonna eat my own words the fact is it the fact is it as it is right and that's that i'm done deviating from that segment i'm done deviating from the previous segment i'm done deviating from all the segments i'm just gonna say that uh this was just a channel update video just telling you plans for the future just other stuff going on um that's really uh, that's really it once again to reinstate i am going to be out of town for a while and uh, when i come back i plan to immediately start working on my resident evil 2 playthrough right uh hell not even if not even if if it, hell I'm, I'm gonna have to i'm stuttering a lot because i have a lot on my mind right now but listen even if my uh, resident evil 4 playthrough flops on like the first five episodes i'm still gonna finish the whole game out because i have personal history with that game right i'm gonna make sure i play through that thing fully and totally 100 percent uh that was it that was the whole video um uh also if you are wondering about the uh, the background gameplay right now uh it was just only honestly friendly pvp on let me tell you something free aim is one of the best decisions i've ever made because in uh, auto aim of course you come across players that auto aim and stuff with guns but most of the time you're going to come across players that auto aim with like uh rocket launchers and grenades and whatnot and so it's no longer even fun but when you come across like people and on console specifically that free aim and get good hits on you they're good right and of course there's always sweats and whatnot but i feel like if you're a sweat playing a playing a game like gta free aim like let me tell you something gta gta's combat system is not like max pain you're not supposed to be accurate which is why the guns are designed to be you know which is why the guns are designed so you can shoot someone but you're not supposed to really be accurate with someone unless it's like a sniper rifle right but if like someone has gotten good at the game's mechanics and found a way around that to try and actually be accurate without doing some stuff like i don't know putting mouse and keyboard on a console for christ's sake i'd say they're actually good at the game and i have actually respect for uh, for another player that actually knows how to play the game proper and honestly this is the most fun and a session i've had for years honestly listen free aim is one of the best things that happened on this uh, on this game and it is very 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 interesting to actually come across players that don't just spam rocket launchers at you but actually shoot at you granted they are shooting at you with guns that are deemed the meta guns you know like the one to do really well like the machine like the other uh, combat mg and like the that was the other one the one the, the, that one bolt up rifle not not that one the other one right of course they're using meta guns but still they're using guns that shoot bullets and not guns that shoot rocket launchers right and they're hitting you good so i'd say wow one i'm having a fun time trying to learn how to uh shoot better and two i'm having a fun time shooting at these guys and these guys killing me back it was honestly a great time uh that was really it uh nothing else to say samson out